Hello, I'm Stephen Logan Mason and welcome to Cover to Cover for Licence to Drive. Now, I feel like I'm going to repeat myself a little bit as Licence to Drive recently appeared in my American import. I've also done a tribute to, uh, not true romance, I've also done a tribute to Licence to Drive a few years back when me and Casper were planning and planning and planning and trying to get the time to do it and do it. This was before we were all in lockdown and stuff like that. And guess what happened one day? My car broke down and Casper had to give us the emergency lift to work. And we did it live in the car. You know what I mean? It's licensed to drive. Now I'm a massive fan of licensed to drive. And as a kid, it was one of those films I'd seen. The artwork, and that's what cover is covers about. It's about the artwork of the generations. Um, I'd seen the artwork. But trying to track it down, especially in the heyday of the two Corys, it was impossible. Never seen it. In fact, the first time I ever bought it is right here in my hand and it is bought from Blockbusters, sell through. So you could go into Blockbusters and you can go, can you get it? And that's what you'd get. So that's one of my original collections. Look at that shadow of the night. There we go. Keep it on that side where the light is, Stephen. I'm on decorating, so <laughs> you didn't need to know that. There's just stuff everywhere. Now, License to Drive. I've been on the cards for a while to be a podcast. Um, I love the movie. And the soundtrack's amazing. And the film's amazing as well. I mean, the end of the day, it's Corey Haim, Corey Feldman. You know, hit big. Had almost star power before the Lost Boys. Boom, in the middle. I mean, who's the other kid called? He's never credited on the back, bless him. Richard Mercer, Carol King. He's definitely not called Carol King. He's just, just the, the other kid. I mean, you imagine if uh, James Newlander was the third brother. Or there was someone more famous in him. But yeah, front cover has never changed. But before we talk about that, let's have a look at the front cover. Now, this... Is the soundtrack um, an iconic Corey Haim on the left or the right? Your left, my right. Corey Feldman on the middle, and in the middle, Heather Graham. Um, License to drive. He's got the keys to the car. Just a hip comedy at the time. Um, brilliant. This just really shows the capture of chemistry. This also appeared recently in Demolition High, as that picture of Corey Haim has been used on other films later on. I refuse to pay two hundred and fifty quid for the laser disc. Like, now, nah. One day, I'll be on the laser disc, but for now, that's it. Now, the soundtrack is packed. It's a heyday of time. The first movie after um, Lost Boys and made these guys a household name. And the artwork, you should say, that lush, like, Hollywood Hills, California thing. It's got the Mercedes on the front cover. Or is that a Porsche? I think it's Mercedes. She's called Mercedes anyway. But yeah, that's the original artwork. Now I'm going somewhere with this because as I said, I'm repeating myself and there's a reason I'm repeating myself and you're gonna find out at the very end of this video. So going back to the self through title. Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, some guys get all, some guys get all the breaks. Now it's known if you read either of the guys' biographies that Corey Feldman wanted to play. Corey Haim's character, Corey Haim really wasn't bothered, you know. License to drive. Now, they're gonna keep an eye on that. I'm sure license changes all over. I don't think license changes in America. CBS Fox and on the back for these guys only one way to live in the fast lane. Again, very comedy. And again, it was a massive hit. You know, for a while here would be propelled behind the wheel with stuff like Dream Machine and stuff like that. Fast getaways, of course. So yeah, that's the original sell through, and that's how I originally got it. Now I also have another copy of that. That one's seen better days, but we'll get back to why well, that one's seen better days. That one's actually, you know, a little bit different inside the box. You're going to start looking at that. That's an actual, that might be my original. Well, that one's in lush condition. There's two licenses of drives there. Ha! One's different. Right, so UK. We'll go for the UK first. And this is the UK big box edition. Similar to what you've just seen. Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, some guys get all the breaks. Licensed Drive, CBS Fox. You get a lot of these, like Predator and stuff, I'll have all these around there. Some guys get all the breaks. Same kind of California sunset imposed on the back. Same tagline, big box. Normally goes for about 25 to 30 pound. Well, yeah, that's the one I've seen back in the day in the video shop. And it normally lives right there. Put these back together. <sighs> Damn it. See, I've painted everything in the room purple, except for behind there. This is why there's nothing here at the minute, it's all on the floor. <laughs> yeah, behind the VHSs, that's a different day. So that's a big box edition in the UK. Now, I don't know where to go next. Small box, big box. There is a book, you know, a collection of license to drive. Um, yeah, so a little font, different, a new comedy. Never read it, 
never had the chance 150 pages that bad boy um, two alternative pictures I would say on the back though very interesting um, alternative pose by him and alternative pose by Thelman so that's some of what's really cool I'll have to remember to take a picture of the back of that but yeah that's pretty cool life in the fast lane now if you're following the channel for a while again talking about fast license to drive and you recently watched um, possibly the silver bullet one when I went on a rant about demolition I not be silver bullet be demolition university um, I went to the centre of New Zealand and we check out Demolition High, you'll realise that I went all the way up to the top of the New Zealand and the centre came back down and I was not sitting outside this restaurant, no way, no shape or form. And I went inside, ate my food and I literally dropped my plate, like literally, and Britt was like, what's the matter? And I took the camera and I zoomed in right there and then and stuck to the walls, but the artwork was the New Zealand licence to drive stuck there. Part the artwork, I was like, can I have that? And I went, yeah, because everyone's nice in New Zealand. Unlike today when I went shopping. Let me shop on Charlie, did, 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 did. like stood there. What am I looking for? And then a family just stood right in front of us like that. Like I was probably still where I just was like that. And then the guy was just like, I'm sick of being here. And he just looked at us while his wife looked at some bread and his daughter was on the phone. I'm sure it said one trolley, one chopper, you know? And anyway, the guy looked at us and went, he was like, what are you looking at? Like, You're standing right where I was looking. And they were all like, oh, but they completely, get out of me, man. Get in the fast lane and fuck right off. I'm trying not to swear in these videos, but yeah. But anyway, there we go. Some guys get all breaks. Corey Hame, Corey Feldman. Orange, and uh, the back of the box is a lot different. It looks a lot more of a comedy, or boxed in, using road signs, creaking it in there. PG, as I say, this similar red font has carried across. So they've kept the logo right across, and that's different because Dream Machines changes. I mean, that's UK and New Zealand and Germany. It's called the Teen Dream Machine. So CBS Fox still. So is this technically a Disney movie now? Technically. So that's a big box. License to drive. So that's what we're looking at. It's Corey Haim, Corey Feldman. It's their movie. Shame about the third friend. <laughs> you know, shame about the third friend. But that's the problem. Now, going back to the most recent addition to my collection, we've got the American import, which is awesome. Again, Corey Hame, Corey Feldman, some guy gets all the breaks. Is license spelled different? No, it's still the same. Because sometimes, just sometimes, it changes as spelling. It does happen, Edge of Honor is one of them. But yeah, that's a small box American import. Um, I don't think Americans ever did big box, not one of these have I got from America. That's a big box edition. But yeah, CBS, Fox, Corey Hame, um, more bleak standard, you know what I mean? New Zealand has the more colourful and loud one. But yeah, so pretty much that's how the collection was before when I left it. Um, small box of the two Corys, if anyone's ever wondering, live in the other room. Originally, um, as Matty Connor said, don't put too much on them shells. Been on replacing them for a while. Right, okay, so we talked about this. Now, there's going to be a bit of a shift. Now, we'll come over here closely to the camera. I've got a few random ones. License to Gunda, uh, Corey M. Corey Feldman. Sem, sim from cover, chopped right in, given a nice little pink thing, slapped on the back. There, it's a picture. See, Demolition University picture there. It's got it on the disc. I have no idea what country it's this from. Now, stuff like this was bought. I mean, this is region two, mind. It's Italian. It's Italian, but it plays in English. Um, again, when when I'm going back to the day when I said I was doing a tribute video and I would literally go all out, like if you look at the Predator one, I'm in the woods, I'm camouflaged up, and I took everything I owned of the Predator into the woods and then created explosions. But going back to other stuff where, you know, I make the effort. Cover to cover is just someone I love. Again, going back in the video shop and you see these artwork, to when you see them now and you're like, what the hell happened to that cover, you know? And that's one of them. So again, pretty much a throwaway one there. There's also as well, in Germany, it's called Daddy's Cadillac. Now, do you see where I'm going here? Corey Hame, Corey Farman. Name's always on the top, so for that one. Hollywood Hills, Heather Graham is sitting in the middle. Daddy's Cadillac, um, again, the demolition high face. Obviously, overlays have been on here. Um, but yeah. Now, 
as I keep on going, I've got three items left. And um, so let's have a look at these three items as I pause myself. Yeah, so first up, um, availability. For some reason, license to drive, poof gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, license drive came out on Blu-ray in America. So here we go. This is the American release. Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, wild, non-stop, freewheeling adventure. Some guys get all the brakes, crop down on the bottom. Keeps the original concept. License uh, on the back there. Again, there's the picture. It's definitely not demolition. And uh, type it in Fever Lake as well. Someone zombified Corey Haim's face to look like Fever Lake. And you think, come on, man, what's wrong with you people? Inside, it's a recycled one, two security tags. Guys' faces on there, made in the USA. 20th Century Fox. So that essentially could end up in Disney Plus. Um, it has been tripped around that it may be remade with girls. I mean, if you look back at the original movie, it's just fast paced. There's some great Richard Mercer's in there, Uncle Phil's in there. It's some wacky, funny, it's well scored, it's well cued. And there's also another actress in there who became very famous, and you're going to see why in a minute. Now, in the UK, right? I check track, what I call track. It's part of my job, I check track. And Corey Haim and Corey Feldman, you type them in and shit doesn't change. I mean, Corey Feldman is essentially the star of The Lost Boys because it's alphabetical. Um, so you'll, Feldman will bring up The Lost Boys, stuff like Jack's Motel, maybe Stand By Me, maybe he's Puppet Master versus Demonic Demons. Pretty much nothing you see on that back shelf will appear when you type in Corey Feldman. High school party girls, I got one of them, see? It's not as rare as you think, eBay. And him's the same. Lost Boys, Watches, and maybe Lucas. Like, literally, availability, poof, gone. License to Drive for being such an iconic movie and having such a good following and a bitching soundtrack. It's funny enough, Uncle Phil's in License to Drive and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's on the soundtrack. Never thought about that. But what's bitching about it is for it to not see a release on DVD and then did for literally less than two weeks. License to drive. Now, you can get this on secondhand music magpies, but the label, it means it's got 20th Century Fox on the back. It's like, what's the label this is on? Hollywood Classics, Second Sight. Second Sight have been dabbling a few things like Dog Soldiers and stuff recently, but Second Sight got this and hardly reached it. Now, the biggest thing, two big things about this. One, it is now officially a 12 in the UK. Could warrant a problem why it knows so the really silly. And two, Heather Graham. Corey Aim, Heather Graham, Corey Farmer. Can you believe that? After all the revelations and nearly 30 years later, some guys get all the breaks, all curly whirly. License to drive, now a 12. Heather Graham's name slapped in there. And on the back, Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Big hug on the back. So we don't have the demolition high. We've got the guys in there, Heather Graham on there. As I say, it's a 12 and it's got nothing extra at all. It's just, there you go, there's a the film. Boom. And the thing happened in, is this American or is this New Zealand? See, this one says the special edition. So yeah, this is the special edition. Now that came with nothing. That's got no extra features whatsoever. And this came out after the Blu-ray. Special edition, Corey Haim, Heather Graham, Corey Feldman. Uh, it's an M, which will be 15-ish. And on the back, what we've got before, but on here we've got CD-ROM, Corey Haim, Corey Feldman, audio commentary by director, and stuff like that. So I don't even think this one works on the PlayStation, unfortunately. Be quite good now i've seen editions where you get the soundtrack and stuff as well wow that disc looks fucking generally copied fucking hell ha again license to drive i mean the discs you want to go about the talk about the discs that's the american one the uk has got a nice print on it that's a really nice print i mean we're talking like you know with disney and stuff you get the gray gray slap bog standard discs and stuff don't you like, oh, you spent all that money on a special edition, and it's like, poof, gone. Yeah, that's quite similar. Put a print on that. So, yeah, so what am I ranting about? That looks almost the same. 
So again, I'm a big fan of License to Drive and hopefully down the line it'll come to a podcast. Dun, dun, dun. I got a knock at the door this morning. It's been sitting there all the time. So, someone has murdered a tube and some packing tape. Someone is stupid enough to be standing nowhere near any instruments of probable cause. <laughs> I was going there's icicles over there hanging off the seat about that fucking long. Could have used an icicle right now. Fuck, I'm gonna have to come back, jump cut. I only jump cut it because I thought there might be some icicles still hanging out the uh, window. Was there? Nope. Was my car keys sitting there all that time? Yes. You cannot open something called license to drive and not use your car keys. Oh God. Well done, Mini. Right, okay, so what's in here? Obviously, it's a poster. <laughs> now, the outtake's gonna be finding a home for this poster because, I mean, it's funny about the, the, all the posters are just under here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't lying when I was saying I was giving everything a little bit of a second coat. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, come out. This is an original okay you know i didn't pay loads for it but i watched it i spoke to the guy and it's from his private collection so he says it is an original wow uk video shop license to drive poster that's fucking lovely corey Haim, corey feldman some guys get all the breaks i think this was 18 pound posted and um, it's an original PG on there, as I say, it's exactly the same as its counterpart and obviously going back to that one. And I, I remember that from back in the day. To me personally, when you talk about anything to do with the two Corys, as a kid, it's been an 80s kid, like 83 kid, at the time I just remember, look at that, I remember the hype of that, then realizing you just couldn't get it when I wanted to see it. So the outtake's gonna be, where does that go? It's gonna to have to be some moving around, but for now, I'll see you in the outtakes. Dun, 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 there we go. I couldn't find anywhere in the editing room. I like, and then I went and made the frame and I was getting what wall do I want it on and like this week, all that way has gotta be painted and decorated, so it's gonna give me motivation. Could have probably done a landscape up there, but it's an original license to drive. That's going to be awesome just to be staring there, watching films and laugh behind it. So yeah, fucking awesome place. Um, I was going to go down there. That's This is actually drawn by Brit. And uh, she didn't give herself enough credit for that. And uh, it was going to go underneath there. And I said, well, you won't really see it. Then next thing you know, I don't want to be knocking it with me bloody Aladdin's bloody this thing, right? It's from 1960. My mum brought this all the way back from Kenya. Mum used to hide it as a kid. I was smuggled with my mum back from Kenya as a kid. But yeah, I don't want to be chucking clothes and then ripping the poster and nowhere's open to go out and buy a frame for it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, temporary Stephen, classic frame. Probably will find a new home, but for now, thanks for watching Cover to Cover for License to Drive. Awesome film that needs a UK Blu-ray release, definitely. Thanks for watching, goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.